Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ADE that has been divided into five smaller triangles of equal areas. As you can see, this is one triangle of area A. This is a second triangle with area A. This is third one. This is fourth. And all these triangles have same area A. And moreover, this side length uh, AD is uh, 60 units. And now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, BC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now let's recall a very crucial concept that we'll be using in solving this given problem. Triangles with the same height will have areas whose ratio is the same as the ratio of their bases, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And we can see over here we have these two triangles. One is red, the other one is blue, and both have the same height. Then the ratio of their this areas is going to be equal to the ratio of their base, as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ACF. It has been divided into these two triangles. First one is this thing on the left hand side. This area is A and A going to make 2A. And this uh, triangle has an area A. And their corresponding uh, bases are this one and this one. And since uh, this area is 1A and this area is 2A, then the ratio of their bases is going to be, this one is going to be 2 and this is going to be 1. So therefore on this uh, line I'm going to represent this uh, AB distance. This one I'm going to represent uh, this one by circle 2. And likewise uh, this uh, distance BC I'm going to represent with the circle 1. In this next step, let's focus on this uh, big triangle ADE and it has been divided into two triangles. The first one on the left hand side has this area. If we add all these ones, that is going to give us uh, 4A and on the right hand side, this area is just simply 1A and their corresponding bases are going to be this uh, AC and the other one is going to be CD. If this is 4A and this is 1A, then their ratio is going to be 4 to 1. So therefore on this line I am going to represent this uh, distance AC over here as you can see this AC by this, uh, I'm going to put a box 4. And likewise, this distance CD by this uh, box uh, 1. And now we can see if we add these two individuals numbers, uh, circle 2 and circle 1, then this uh, whole length is going to become, the sum of these is going to be simply circle 3. In other words, we can see that circle 3 equals to box 4. Since they represent the distance, uh, this one AC. So therefore, the least common denominator of this circle 3 and box 4 is going to be, we are going to multiply them out. So that is going to give us uh, 12. Therefore, let's go ahead and multiply this uh, 3 by 4 and 4 by 3. Likewise, this circle 2 we are going to multiply by 4 and this circle 1 I'm going to multiply by 4 and this uh, box 1 I'm going to multiply by 3. So therefore, this number is simply is going to become 8. 4 times 2 is 8 and I'm going to put a 
triangle on that one likewise this is going to become one times four so i'm going to put a triangle on that one and likewise one times three this one is going to give us three i'm going to put a triangle on that one so therefore our final ratios for this uh, segment a b is uh, this triangle eight for this uh, b c is this triangle four and for this line segment uh, c d is uh, this uh, triangle three so therefore our ratio is going to be a b ratio b c ratio c d is going to be their corresponding one is going to be eight ratio four and ratio three and we know that this whole distance uh, a d is going to be eight plus four plus three is going to give us uh, 15 so therefore i can write uh, a d equals to 15 and since we are interested in finding uh, this uh, length uh, bc which is in our case is uh, 4 so therefore we can write uh, length uh, bc is just simply the fraction 4 divided by 15 but we know that our uh, original length uh, ad is uh, 60 units therefore our bc length is going to be 4 divided by 15 times 60 and if we simplify the right hand side our length bc distance is going to be 16 units and that is our answer so thus our this length bc turns out to be 16 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye